Hey guys. Oh, okay, so this is my second time trying to film this video, and the first time my camera was overloaded with memory, lack of memory space, and the second time the camera died. So a third time's a charm. I'm really excited right now, and I think you can tell. I just watched Tatiana's marriage proposal video. I don't know if you guys know her, but she's glam right. <laughs> she's glam life guru here on YouTube, and. Oh my gosh, she's getting proposed to, and I'm just like giddy with excitement for her. So, oh my gosh, if you're watching this, congratulations. I'm so happy for you. Okay, so, TMI Tuesday. Before we start into that, I just wanted to tell you guys that I do have an Instagram account. So many people are like, hey, do you have Instagram? Yes, I do. It's sat night, all right? It's the exact same as my Twitter, and I'll post it down below. I post awesome photos, so totally check it out. Finally, TMI Tuesday. Eroy719 asks, how old am I? I am 21 on this Sunday the 15th. I'm really excited. I'm going to play laser tag and going to Max Brenner, which is like chocolate heaven. Literally, like, I don't know how to explain it. Everything in there is chocolate. Like they sell only chocolate, that's it. It's like chocolate covered waffles and these little lick things that are like literally melted chocolate and you dip a little thing in and you eat it and chocolate chai tea lattes and everything's chocolate and it's amazing the mr bubbles asks how long am i staying in australia for i'm here until my little brother's graduation in june he is obviously back in canada in high school and i am going back with glenn to witness my brother graduating high school a day that i thought would never come <laughs> i'm kidding hayden i'm kidding um, Princess Jazzy, 15, you ask, what's the reason I moved all the way to Australia? My boyfriend's Australian and I've always wanted to come here. It's a pretty darn cool country and just had a craving to be here ever since I was a kid. I don't know why. Craven Classy asks, how long have you and your boyfriend been dating? Was it hard having a long distance relationship and do I have any advice? Oh long distance relationship. Well, Glenn and I have been dating for a year on January 18th. It's actually the same anniversary as my parents, which is kind of cute because like, I remember it. <laughs> and um, long distance, we had been together for two months, two and a half months before we were long distance, and then we were long distance for just over six months. Ugh. It was awful. Um, we made it work, and I think that we're one of the rare couples that can make long distance work. It can be done, it's just not easy. You miss having that person in your life and you want to share your exciting moments or your accomplishments with them and they're just not there and to not physically have someone that you love anywhere even close to you, it's really, really difficult. I definitely would say if you love the person enough and you know that you're going to have a future with them to do it and you will have no regrets. But you need to be a very trusting person and I would definitely recommend having a smartphone or an iPhone so that you can communicate with them whenever you want. I mean, Glenn and I would FaceTime all the time and I think that was really nice to be able to communicate whenever we wanted to. X Metal Baby X asks, are you renting with your boyfriend or does he own a house? My boyfriend and his brother own this house, so that's why I could paint. Um, if you guys have watched my previous videos, I painted my rental apartment, which was probably a stupid idea, but whatever. So it was no problem to paint this room because they own it. Happy versus Lucky asks, what do you do to keep your weight? I think that I am a pretty normal weight. I weigh 118 to 120 pounds. I fluctuate. I'm five foot six. I eat three meals a day plus snacks. So I drink water and I go to the gym when I can. I've been really bad at that lately because we only own one vehicle here. And to try and get a schedule of going back and forth between the gym, it's a little bit difficult, but I'm getting better and I'm trying to get back into my exercise routine because, oh my gosh, you feel so much better when you do exercise. It's just, it's true. Do it. Sakos asks, what are three things I like about myself physically and three things that I don't necessarily like, but I've accepted about the way that I look? Okay. Well, I'd say my hair is one of them. Um, it's kind of a bull thing. I'm going to cheat and say my hair is bull. I don't really like my natural hair. It's pretty thin and short and it's not as bad as it used to be. Like since I got extensions, I love it. I really do enjoy my hair with extensions. Now they look pretty natural and I, I think the color is pretty awesome, but I'm such a blondie at heart. Um, second thing that I like, I like that my belly button is off center. I don't know why it is, but <laughs> when I wear high-waisted shorts, like, 
literally my belly button will be like a good half an inch off of like where the normal button is. It's pretty weird. And I also really like that I have tattoos and that it's different and I like that and I like that I have a May the Force Be With You tattoo because that's pretty random and not very many girls have that. Um, two other things that I don't really like. Um, I don't really like that I don't have freckles. <laughs> I know that sounds stupid, but I've literally wanted freckles my entire life and I'd always go out in the sun like hoping that I would. And when I get like little sunspots, I always go, yeah, they're freckles and no, it's just sun damage. Um, something that I don't like about myself physically, I don't like, I, I feel that I'm hairy. <laughs> I have an abundance of hair, it's all blonde and like it's all over my body, but I don't like it. <laughs> I guess that's something that I don't physically like. Cheryl Lynn 69 asks, is this my natural hair color and if not, do I dye it? This is definitely not my natural hair color. I bleach it, I don't dye it. Um, I don't have to bleach all over anymore because it's already the lightness that I want it to be, so I only have to do my roots. My natural color is kind of like a dark honey blonde. I haven't had that for years though, so I'm not about to go back to that color anytime soon. And um, Kels V. Randall, you asked that as well. If I would go dark again, no, no chance. I had black hair for like a year and a bit, probably a year and a half ago, and before that I had brown hair. So this is the first time that I've really, really been blonde blonde. I love it too much to change back. Laura Angelina asks, what extensions do I wear? I have keratin bonded extensions. I actually have a video that I'll link below that tells you all about that. So if you are interested in hair extensions, I have a video for it. I also have a clip-in video if you guys want to watch that. Life is good. 42 asks about my GHD straightener. I'm in love with it. Seriously, best buy, best buy for a straightener ever. Go get one. Love it. I did hear though that the like the limited edition ones with the colored plates, apparently those don't last as long because they can't make the plates the same as they do the regular ones. Like the color makes it not as good or the longevity doesn't hold out as well. I don't know. That's what I heard from a couple hairdressers. So just passing along what I heard. Weight loss Christ asks, have I ever had braces? And a golden gecko asks, did I, or do I have veneers? Um, and also SR Will Willems asks, um, what do I do to keep my teeth so white? I have had, I had to do a little smile for you guys. I have had braces, headgear, and I have veneers, and I have done professional whitening. I had from grade seven to grade 10 or 11, I had braces and I had to wear headgear at night, which was totally lame. I had braces, headgear, glasses, and a perm. I was a mess in high school. Um, so my teeth are professionally whitened, so they did like those at home bleaching gel kits where they molded it professionally to my teeth and then I had like really strong professional grade bleach to bleach with them. Um, and then once I got my teeth to the desired whiteness, I got veneers on my front four teeth. So these guys are not real. It had nothing to do with like my teeth being crooked or anything. They were just really tiny, a little baby teeth. So I wanted to get veneers and I did. Kanjo, Chanjo5799 asks, what are my views on plastic surgery and does Mink have a website? Mink doesn't have a website and plastic surgery, um, whatever makes you happy. Personally, I've always wanted to get my boobs done. That's just me. I don't want them like huge or anything, but I do want them to be like a nice little grab full. And I think that if that's what makes you happy and you feel like spending money on that, go for it. If it makes you wake up happy in the mornings, it's all that matters. It's Barbie Bitches 108 asks, what's my favorite makeup brand? Um, probably MAC, just because I think that Overall, I really like their line of things. Like, I like specific things from other brands, but overall, I think I enjoy the entire MAC line pretty well. Simple Glamour asks, what's my favorite mascara? Favorite mascara, hands down, is Dior Blackout. Um, you guys have seen it, it's a Dior show, and I've featured it in so many of my favorites videos, but it's amazing. I also really like Benefit's Bad Gal Lash, but apparently the same company makes both of them, so that's probably why. Jay Jana asks, do I like Boxcar Racer as well? Because I was talking about Tom DeLonge last week. Yeah, I love Boxcar. Cat Like Thief is such an awesome song and oh, the, I love that whole album. I wish that they made more. Melody Sack asks, what are my favorite bands? Well, surprise, my boyfriend's band, The Atlantis. 
there's a plug for you guys. They're pretty awesome. I really enjoy the style of music that they do because it's super similar to like Angels and Airwaves, Blink, Jimmy Eat World, and I really like those bands as well. So it's kind of like a mash of all my favorite bands. I also really, really, really like Motion City Soundtrack and John Butler Trio and Angus and Julia Stone. There's like, there's too many to count, actually. On my main profile, I think, on YouTube, there's like a huge About Me music section. So read through that if you want to see some more of my favorite bands. Miss Broadway Brunette asks, do I like to sing? I used to be in musical theater in high school and I loved it and I loved acting and I liked singing, but I don't sing very often now. I really wish I did though. Airwitch24 asks, am I planning on getting more tattoos and what did my family say when I said I wanted to move to Australia? Yes, I'm planning on getting more tattoos eventually. I don't know what I want to get, but I think in future it's definitely an option. Um, what did they say when I said I wanted to move here? They said, I better find a job. <laughs> they said that I better have a room for them to stay with us when they came down to visit me, which I'm hoping they'll come in like March, April to come see me, maybe. Sephora Girl asks, I should talk about my tattoos. Well, I have three. My two most recent are this one right here. It says, may the force be with you. It's a mirrored tattoo, so when you look at it, it looks like it's backwards, but when I look at it in the mirror, it's forwards. I did it in that kind of script because I wanted it to look like it was elvish because I'm in love with Lord of the Rings and May the Force Be With You is a Star Wars quote. I got this one on my arm. It is We Are All That We Are. It's an Angels and Airwaves lyric from one of their songs and coincidentally this new album has a song titled We Are All That We Are, which is pretty awesome. And my last one that got done first in 2008, I think, is this one. It says, watch your words spread hope like fire, hear your voices sing back louder. It's from the song Secret Crowds, and it's another Angels and Airwaves lyric, and obviously I love Angels and Airwaves. Um, Cal's and Anne, hey, haven't talked to you for a while. We post a few pictures from middle or high school. I think I have some on my Facebook fan page if you guys want to see those. And do I want to have kids, and do I have name picked, names picked out? Yes, I want to have kids, but not anytime soon. Oh my gosh, I want to be me and enjoy my spare time and my hobbies and not have to worry about another human being and enjoy just being. Um, and yes, I do have names picked out, kind of, <laughs> but I mean, I think everyone kind of thinks about kids' names, but I'm not going to tell you any of them because I don't want anyone to steal them. Um, Melon Shots, Devin, I miss you with all my heart. I seriously think about you all the time. I miss you. I wish we could hang out. You asked my favorite shop in Australia and favorite workout and time to work out and favorite dinner and snack recipe. Favorite shop in Australia. Um, I really like all the surf shops. I know it's totally lame. Um, I really like the online shop, Shop Market HQ. All of you can shop on that because I think they do worldwide shipping. And I like Mink where I'm not working there anymore. I was a Christmas casual, so all of you are like, oh, you need a job. Yes, I do need a job because I'm not working there anymore. Um, favorite workout. I really am trying to up my cardio, so I'm doing a lot of cardio when I go to the gym. I also try and do tons of ab work because I want to have Britney Spears circa 2001-2003 abs because that'd be awesome. My favorite time to work out is either early in the morning or late at night. I hate middle of the day workouts. I could have actually gone to the gym with Glenn right now, but I decided to film anyway instead because I didn't want to have to completely redo myself <laughs> before I filmed. Favorite dinner and snack recipe, I love Thai food, you know that, <laughs> and snack recipe, I really like homemade like granola protein bars, um, if I can get my mom to send me the recipe, I might do a video on that, are you guys maybe interested in food videos, I don't know, leave me a response. Christina Arsnick asks, what makes me angry and what are types of people that I just like, makes me angry when people are, are completely oblivious and non-respectful of other people's space and of their opinions and people that I dislike are ignorant people that literally are so boxed into their little world and tunnel vision. I hate people with tunnel vision. Expand your horizon and be happy. You don't have to be miserable all the time. Natasha XOX asks, what's the last item I splurged on and what are some of my new year's resolutions? Oh my god, this video is getting long. 
The last night of my splurge on, I went to Lush when I was in Melbourne and I bought a face mask and like tons of bubble bath balm things and I'm in love with them. Lush is so awesome. I, you can have a sparkly bubble bath. Awesome. My New Year's resolutions, I am still continuing to work on my positivity because I think that everyone can work on that. And my reactions to things and how I react and how to... I guess react to a situation in a way where I'm understanding and positive and I don't automatically assume something or I don't automatically judge. I want to take a step back and react in a positive, adult, mature manner. Carol Loves Tea asks, if I could go to any country in the whole world, where would you go? I think right now I'd go to Amsterdam because I've always wanted to go to Amsterdam and all you probably know why. I also really want to go to Spain. I think that'd be pretty cool. Seven Kiss, Galas Kiss Alaska asks, does anyone ever mistake me for Hillary Duff? Um, on YouTube, yes, but usually I get either Hillary Duff, Asher Tisdale, I get a lot of Heidi Montags, sometimes Megan Fox and Katy Perry if they were blonde, but never really in real life, only on YouTube. And my last question is, Starlight1228, what movie would I like to play a character in? Hands down, Gone with the Wind. I would love to be Scarlett O'Hara. It is my favorite book in the entire world. I've had so many copies of it and literally read right through it until it fell apart. I would love to remake that movie and be a part of it and be Scarlett and uh, it's just, it would be a dream. Anyway, those are all of my TMI questions. I hope you guys leave some more questions below. I try and get to all of them, and it really stresses me out when I can't. I obviously didn't get to all of them this week, but I'm gonna do my best. Um, I do have Forum Spring if you guys ever wanna ask anonymous questions, and I have Facebook and Twitter and Tumblr and everything, so just look at my links below. Anyway, my video is getting stupidly long, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye.